what's up you guys marty schwartz here with marty music we're going to learn this neil young classic harvest moon what an amazing song and pretty fun and easy to play so that's always good uh also thank you guys for supporting marty music and if you haven't yet i'd really appreciate you subscribing here to the marty music channel clicking that bell notification and then also i've got a bunch of uh, great guitar learning resources in the links below so check those out as well Thank you again. Let's let's play this tune. All right, so we're gonna go and drop D. So you just drop that top string down to D, and we're gonna place the uh, middle finger on the eleventh fret of the G index on the tenth of the B. And if you strum that whole all the strings, it's like a D major nine chord. Kind of swings like that down up down up down up down down up down up down up down down up down down up down so you've got that little piece you're going to add your ring finger to the 12th fret of the B string with that little. And the open high E string rings out too. Then we're playing this little piece. So that's ninth on the high E, 10, and 11. It actually is a D major 7. It's an extension off the D root still, and it's called a D major seven. So you have that. And when we're doing that strum, you're hitting the up strokes or the up strums on that shape. So you've got. And now, uh, because we're in drop D, so there, there's some basic chords that, that are in the song, but they're just fingered a little different because of that drop D. So it's second fret of this low E that's been tuned down to D and second fret of the A string, and that makes it E minor seven. So. And then a regular D chord. And then back to the E minor seven. So I'm gonna show you that D chord. So it goes like this. D, D, D major seven, which is index finger uh, just across the second fret of the G, B, and high E, so you got. And then I just bring the finger up and that becomes an A major. Or at least an A major voicing, it could still be uh, considered a type of D. But we're doing that. And then we're adding, you could do ring finger or pinky to that fourth fret D string. So it's like. Now we move that uh, E minor shape that we were playing up to the fifth fret. And now that's a considered a, a G major chord. Now, if you wanted to play a full G, G major in drop D tuning, you got ring finger, pinky, all the open strings with it, and then the, that third fret high E. Now, 
Now, if you don't want to do a big stretch like that, you just you can just play just the fifth on these strings. And even the high E being in there, it still sounds good, or you can just avoid it and you get a G major chord. And so there's times where it goes back to that D thing. which could be substituted really for the signature thing. So, so far we've got the main riff, we've got the E minor seven, and then we've got this D major thing. Then we've got the G major and back to D major as well as the signature riff. And then there's one more um, chord. Or, well, I guess you could say two more chords because it's an A sus or A7 sus4 to an A7. So think of a A7 chord. Oh, and also the. I got to show you those harmonics too. So don't worry, we're getting, we're getting through it all. So uh, A7, and if you just have the B string on the third fret instead of the second fret. That's A7 sus4. Now you could also do it this way with the pinky off and on. Now my thumb it's just resting on the E string and it's muting it so I can just strum the whole guitar. And that thumb's muting the E string. To that main riff. So there's a little harmonic part. Bum, 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 bum. And so it's high E right above the fret. B, G, D. Bum, 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 bum. And then you got to hit the seventh fret on the A string. So E, B, G, D, and then the A string. And when you're getting that harmonic, it's right above the fret. And you're letting you're not pressing down, you're letting the string vibrate underneath. And that's just like that. So that gets you through the whole thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Uh, feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, once again, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell notification, checking the links below. Thanks again, you guys. We'll see you later.